Hi everyone, welcome to my nine week pregnancy vlog. Um, today I am nine weeks, three days pregnant. Um, feeling really shit today. Oh, I'm feeling like hot and cold and uh, pretty out of breath today, which is funny because I remember having that same symptom last time in my early trimester. Um, so the last, like yesterday was maybe the worst day that I've had at nine weeks, two days pregnant. I just felt, oh, exhausted, really, really flat. Just that, you know, that verge of vomiting where you're just like, whoa, you just feel so rotten and so sick. Um, that's how I felt. I just was like, oh my God, I feel awful. That was yesterday. Today I've woken up and I'm still not feeling great, but I know that this is a good sign. I know that typically that points to a healthy pregnancy. Um, and again, like I said, pregnancy number four, it has been um, the worst in terms of sickness and how I'm feeling. And, um, and like I think I mentioned last week in my eight week pregnancy vlog, I can't tell if that's because I'm just older, I've already got three kids, I have a young toddler, um, I'm also working full time, but I just feel like blah, um, this pregnancy. But yeah, look, I've only got about four weeks left and then I'm out of this trimester, which is fantastic. Um, okay, an exciting update this week. Ah! Um, we found out from our sneak peek gender reveal that we are having a, I'm not gonna tell you yet. <laughs> no, um, I'll tell you the process. So last week at eight weeks, uh, three days pregnant, I went to a clinic here in Wales that specializes in sneak peek. Um, and sneak peek is this blood test that basically um, you take it after eight weeks uh, pregnancy and it can tell by your blood whether you have um, any XY uh, chromosome, any boy chromosomes. Um, and if you don't, they say it's a girl. And if you do, obviously, there's a boy. Um, so I was on the fence. I think I was saying this last week. I was on the fence about finding out and because really at the end of the day, um, they just are who they are. Gender to me is not that important. And also um, they, they will end up identifying however they identify. So, um, but for the kids, for whatever reason, I don't know what it was. They, they just wanted to know. They were just asking, um, is that my baby brother? Is that my baby sister? Who is it? Is it this name? Is it that name in there? Um, and... They kept asking and so I said to Mark, what do you think? Should we just find out? And even though he was very pro finding out, um, I think I could have convinced him to just leave it as a surprise. Um, and now that we did find out, I feel like I'm, I definitely, if I want to go again, I really want to have one surprise. So <laughs> baby number five, um, that will be a surprise. Anyway, so, uh, Everyone, what we did, what we decided to do was I knew I was going to get an email. I got the email last night saying your um, sample has arrived with us within um, four to eight hours. We're going to email you again with the result. So I got that at 6.30 p.m. and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, oh, my God, my heart was going crazy. And it's just one of those things. I had such a strong intuition, this pregnancy that it was a certain gender. Um, but then I was dreaming about the opposite gender. So I was kind of at a place where I just had no idea. And usually I like to tap into my, my mother intuition and, and like I really have a knowing feeling. But this pregnancy, um, maybe I just sort of suppressed my knowing feeling and was like, oh, well, maybe it's this other gender because I've been... Um, dreaming about it. So anyway, got the thing at 6.30, couldn't sleep, kept refreshing it, refreshing it, refreshing it. It was like 11 p.m. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm just really tired. Um, 
So I ended up saying, I'm just going to go to bed. Mark was downstairs. Um, I'll go to bed. And then I woke up at midnight uh, a couple of hours later. Um, you know, maybe, yeah, it was midnight. So actually only an hour later I woke up. And Mark was still not in bed because he was up riding. And I went to my phone. And I was like, I'm just going to do it. I shouldn't have done it at midnight because, of course, I wouldn't sleep. I went to my phone and I saw that it was in. And I was like, oh, my God. And I just clicked on it straight away. And it said, you are having a... Not going to tell you yet. <laughs> um, but uh, I then decided how I was going to reveal it to the family. Because I didn't, I hate the like pink and blue thing. That's not really us. Also, like my daughter doesn't wear pink exclusively and she wears a lot of blue and greens and all the boys hand-me-downs. And so like for our family, like pink and blue, they're not good representations of different gender. Um, but what the boys have suggested to me is Bodhi said, why don't you pick one of Poet's toys and one of me and Forrest's toys? And whichever toy is in the box is we're having a baby sister or we're having a baby brother. And I thought it was a really good idea. So I picked out this like little um, Berenstein bear that was wearing a little red dress. And um, and then Bodhi and Forrest were fighting over which one of their toys represented the boy. But ultimately, uh, Bodhi decided that it had to be his toy. So he got this like little swimmer guy, um, like a little um, deep sea diver. So I had the deep sea diver and I had the little girl and I hadn't told Mark that I was getting the email. So anyway, look at it, it was like, oh my God, put the doll and the both of them in my pockets and um, went downstairs and filmed him as I was going downstairs and he was like, oh my God. And he just knew and I was like, um, which pocket do you think? And he pointed to a pocket and I was like, uh oh, -uh, that pocket. Um, and he pulled out the little thing that told him if it was a boy or a girl. Um, and I'll just tell you now. Um, it's a girl. Oh my God, why are we a girl? And it was just this really cute little um, Berenstein bear with a dress. Uh, and I get it out and he has the most amazing reaction he's like yeah like just jumping around like oh, i knew it i knew it like just freaking out kissing me he was like oh my god i could just tell how happy he was um i didn't realize i didn't realize that like he had such a strong pull to have another daughter and i always thought that he always wanted to pull it to himself so i'm um, just like one little girl he's always said that but then he explained to me he's like i have three beautiful sons i have three amazing beautiful healthy sons he's like the idea that the boys get to have another sister and that poet gets to experience having a sister he's like it just brings me so much joy and i feel the exact same way i grew up always i was an only child but i also have two half sisters and three stepbrothers and um but I never really had my siblings around me. It was just, um, they were a lot older than me. So I didn't really get to have that same experience so many of my friends did with their sisters or with their brothers. And I just didn't get that. And I think I really missed out on that in my childhood. And I longed for it. I remember I would pray for it every night. I was such a religious little girl. And I would pray for it so much to have siblings. And um, it never, you know, my mum never had any more babies. And then my dad and my stepmom didn't have any kids together. Um, so I just, I was so elated. I didn't realize how much I longed for that experience for her. And it'll be whatever the experience is. And ultimately, we just really want a healthy baby. But I had to break up with the idea of my little boy too, which like was quite bittersweet because... I'd been dreaming about having a little boy and so I was also in a bit of shock. I think intuitively I knew it was a girl, but because I'd been having these dreams and I'd been picturing her with a little boy, a poet with a little boy, I sort of kind of broke up in my head with 
like that image. And I realized that isn't it so funny what our minds do, our imagination. We sort of create who these little people are going to be. And you know what? We have no idea who they're going to be. They're going to be their own individual little people. And um, it doesn't matter what their gender is. It just matters if they're happy and healthy and thriving. And um, so then we finally got to sleep after being like, oh my God, but here's the crazy thing. So the baby's due in August and last August, for whatever reason, I was on the beach in Kangaroo Island and I wrote, we were all writing everyone's names and in the sand and I wrote like really massive, her name starts with a P, I wrote really massive her name and I took a photo of it and that was in August and this baby is due a year later in August and it's a girl. So Mark's, Mark and I are really big into putting your, um, in, in putting your intentions out there and calling things into your life and we, um, we feel like that is, it's just so amazing that we are having a daughter. I'm gonna have two little girls and three boys. I can't believe it. It feels like it, it's a nice sort of family balancing, which has been really lovely anyway. So this morning we woke up, we went downstairs, we tried to be quite poker face and we're like, all right, everyone in the house, write on their piece of paper if they think it's a boy or a girl. So my mum wrote, boy, um, Susie, who's one of my best friends, I've talked about her before, she's been living with us, um, she wrote boy, poet, we kept on trying to be like boy or girl, but we found that the last thing we said to her was what she would say, so we're like brother or sister, she'd be like sister, sister or brother, brother, so we tried to do it in the most neutral way and she was like boy, so she said boy. Um, and then Forrest said boy and Bodhi said girl. He's like, I know it's a girl. I know it's a girl, mum. And he really, 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 really wanted a girl. So everyone wrote out, like did their little cute designs on the paper and then we filmed it. And the way we decided to do it was everyone would bring out their piece of paper and it would say boy or girl. So Forrest was like, I think boy. And then um, Bodhi came up to the camera and was like, I think girl. And then my mum was like, boy. Um, anyway, so it was quite cute. And obviously Mark and I knew already. Um, so I built, how we did it was we built this big magnetile castle, so the boys' toys. And we put a little, um, like within the magnetile castle was a smaller magnetile box. And Mark had put the little, um, Berenstein bear with a dress in there and had covered it with a, a bandana. And then um, we like set the camera up and just was like, all right, is it gonna be a brother or a sister? Three, two, one, smash it down. And then they all smashed it down and everyone screamed and Bodhi's like, a girl. Um, and it was just so sweet, so sweet. And just had the perfect, way to celebrate um, our little baby. But then of course, there's a part of me now that I just feel so great. And I just came up and had a bath because I was feeling shit. I feel great and happy, but my body feels shit. Um, there's a part of me that's like, oh my God, I took the test at eight weeks, three days. Is there a potential it's wrong? Um, and now we've all celebrated and we've gotten used to this idea of having a sister, like maybe it's wrong. Um, did I jump the gun? Anyway, and then I started, of course, like seeing stories online where it's like, oh, it was false for me. It wasn't accurate. So I reached out to the company. I was like, oh, I did a clinical test and it was at eight weeks, three days. How accurate is it? Um, just before I announce it or whatever. Um, so anyway, who knows? It's not a hundred percent. I won't know until the NIPT test, which I'm doing on Tuesday. So the next update, I will tell you about that scan. That scan will be at 10 weeks exactly. Uh, and I'll have my NIPT test, blood test, which will tell me yes, gender, but also um, eliminate a bunch of different uh, issues the baby could have. I'm running out of time. Okay, anyway, that's my update. I'll quickly show you my belly. <laughs> Uh, looking just like a bit more flubby today, not so bumpy. 
All right, guys, that's it from me. I will see you next week. Bye.